Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. This is the second part of my PSP tutorial series. In this part, I'll show you how to set up a complete environment to run PSP smoothly and easily. In my first tutorial, I have discussed about how PSP works and you should already, you should have already known that PSP runs on server, not in browser. So we need a server. We'll have to set up the server locally or on our computer. Also, we need the PSP programming language itself and also we need a database. Um, if you don't know the database, what is the database, don't worry. But in future, when we will work with lots of data, we'll need to work with the database. So in this case, we'll use the MySQL database. So here we need um, three things. A server. Uh, here we will use Apache server. And then we need database, MySQL. And we need PSP programming language itself. So if you want to install these things separately, then it will be uh, very difficult if you are a beginner. That's why we will use a software called Jamp. So I am already on the website. If you wonder about what this Jamp means, so here the X means it is a cross-platform software. That means it is available for all kinds of operating systems like Linux, Macs, or Windows. And A means Apache. As you see, so this is the server. I have, uh, uh, as I have already told, that we need a server. So this is the server, and then the M means MySQL or MariaDB. MariaDB is actually a form of MySQL database. So this is the database, and then the P stands for PS PSP. So the programming language itself, and then the other P stands for Perl. It is also a programming language, but we don't need it here. So don't worry about it. We just need the three things, the Apache server, and the MySQL database, or MariaDB, and PSP programming language. So all these things are available or packed on the software. So you don't need to install those things separately. Now let's download the software. You can download it for your own operating system. Here it is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So as I'm using Windows, let's download it for Windows. So it says the download will start automatically if it does not click here. So the download should start automatically if it does not just click here. Based on your internet speed, it can take a minute to couple of minutes. I've already downloaded it on my computer. Let's install it. The installation process is very easy and straightforward. So I have just clicked on the software on the executable file and then cl click yes. Okay. Next. Just notice the location where you are installing it. In this case, I'm installing it in my C drive. Then click next. So the language should be English. Click next. Now, uh, this installing process can take a couple of seconds to couple of minutes. So, just be patient with it. So, here it looks almost complete to me. Should be done within a few seconds. Yes, click finish. So, after the installation process is complete, uh, windows should appear like this. In this window, you will see a few modules Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, Mercury, Tomcat. We just need two modules here. We will have to set two modules Apache server and MySQL database. So let's click start. Now, in your web browser, uh, write localhost. And if you see this screen, then uh, everything is working fine. That means your server is working fine. Now you can write your PSP program. Now the question is, where you will write your PSP program? So as you know, we, we have installed the jam software in our C drive. So let's go to the C drive. And here, you should see a new folder called jam. And click on the jam folder. If you enter the jam folder, you should see another folder called 
htdocs here is the folder so you'll have to write your program your PST program on this inside this folder you cannot write the PST program on another folder now let's create a new project here let's create a new folder and let's name it hello world you can give it any name you want so let's create a new PST file our first PSP file remember the file extension should be .psp as this is a PSP program and let's name it hello world click enter um, click yes uh, just make sure here on the view show the file name extension is checked just make sure it is checked already now uh, if uh, now if you want to see the output of this program we'll have to go to our browser and then we'll have to write localhost slash and the name of the folder hello world and click enter uh, sorry I have uh, this is spelled it hello world yes so you'll you should see the hello world.psp here and click on it right now we don't have anything here because we have not write any code on this file now to write code we need a code editor so there are lots of code editor I think visual study code is the most popular one and I like uh, the code editor very much so let's uh, download it from the internet Visual Studio Code and you can download it from here for Windows I have already downloaded it uh, let's install it the instruction process is easy I accept the command create desktop icon install It should take a couple of seconds. Just be patient. Okay, it is installed. Now let's open the code editor. And now let's open the project that we have already op uh, created. So we'll have to go to local disk C, then jam inside jam we have HD docs and then the folder name hello world this is the project we created now here we see the file hello world.psp uh, now I'll write uh, a little bit of code just don't worry about it I'll explain everything later now just for the understanding I'll write a code here a PSP code and we'll check the output on the browser Let's save it so you can save from here or you can just uh, press ctrl s now uh, now let's see the output on the browser so this is the one this is where we can see the output let's refresh it there you go we see the hello world uh, that means everything is working fine and we have written our first PHP program in my next tutorial, I will explain the syntax of, of PSP, how to write PSP program, etc. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you enjoyed the tutorial, please hit like and subscribe.